Thank you. We'll be returning to you and Merlin in just a few moments. For some, this will be the first look at all the scores around the league. For others, it will serve as an update. At any rate, Miami is now 8-0. They defeat New England 44-24. Dan Marino with four touchdown passes. He's got 24 for the year. At this rate, he would throw 48 for the season, and the record is 36. Tony Eason had three touchdown passes in the loss for New England. St. Louis defeats Washington 26-24. This is one of the game's big plays. Trailing 24-17, fourth quarter, Neil Lomax throws one of his three touchdown passes. It covers 83 yards to Roy Green, who scored twice today, but the point after was missed by Neil O'Donohue. Then O'Donohue redeemed himself by kicking a field goal of 21 yards with five seconds to play. The Cardinals win at 26-24. Now in the last three weeks, the Cardinals, who have won three in a row, have beaten Dallas, the Bears, and Washington. Important wins over Dallas and Washington, their two main rivals in the NFC East. Denver over Buffalo 37-7, Broncos 7-1, Buffalo 0-8. Cincinnati on a last play field goal by Jim Breach defeats Cleveland 12-9 despite a 60-yard field goal earlier by Cleveland's Steve Cox. Detroit with Billy Sims gaining 100 yards over Minnesota 16-14. Indianapolis beats Pittsburgh on this play 17-16. They trail 16-10, about a half minute left. Third and 24, Mike Pagel scrambles. His pass deflected by Sam Washington. Thank you, says Raymond Butler. Into the end zone he goes with the point after Indianapolis upsets Pittsburgh 17-16. Seattle over Green Bay, 30-24. The Packers have lost seven in a row. And Seattle, meanwhile, is 6-2. and Two, two fourth-quarter touchdown passes by Ron Jaworski. Philadelphia beats the Giants 24-10. Walter Payton scores twice, but he doesn't get 100 yards. Nonetheless, Chicago beats Tampa Bay 44-9. In the game you're watching, San Diego 2014 over the Raiders at the half. The Jets are in the third now, leading Kansas City 14-0. And San Francisco also in the third quarter in front of winless Houston 17-7. Now stay with us. We'll be back following these messages. And a word from your buddy Bob Costas back at our NFL 84 studios in New York. Briefly, one more time through the scores before we say so long. Miami is now 8-0. They beat New England 44-24. Dan Marino threw four touchdown passes in that ball game. The Cardinals, with Roy Green catching a couple from Neil Lomax, who threw three all told. They come from behind and beat the Redskins 26-24 on a Neil O'Donohue field goal with about three seconds remaining from 21 yards out. Denver defeated Buffalo 37-7. Denver now 7-1. Buffalo is 0-8. Those of you who saw that game saw the Bronco wide receiver Clint Sampson take a clean but very telling hit. At first, we feared that he might be seriously hurt. We have checked with the hospital. He's in stable condition and apparently no neurological damage of any kind. He did have a concussion being kept overnight as a precaution. Cincinnati defeats Cleveland by a score of 12-9 despite a 60-yard field goal in that game by the Browns' Steve Cox. Detroit, with Billy Sims going over 100 yards, beats Minnesota 16-14. Indianapolis scores in the last 30 seconds on a deflected pass. They upset Pittsburgh 17-16. Seattle over Green Bay 30-24. Seattle 6-2. Green Bay has lost seven in a row. Ron Jaworski, two touchdown passes in the fourth quarter. The Eagles beat the Giants 24-10. Walter Payton scores twice but held to 72 yards overall. Jim McMahon, three touchdown passes. The Bears wallop Tampa Bay 44-9. And the game you just saw, a San Diego rally falls short. Three touchdown passes for Dan Fouts, but five for the Raiders' Mark Wilson, 44-37. The defending world champions win it. The Jets get three touchdown passes from Pat Ryan. Fumble recovery in the end zone from Mark Gastineau, 28-7 over Kansas City. The Jets are 6-2, and, and San Francisco keeps Houston winless at 0-8 with a 34-21 victory. And no, Houston and Buffalo are not scheduled to play each other this